United States Capitol Police. What's up everyone, General Discharge here. Today's video is going to be discussing the United States Capitol Police. We're sure you've seen them on the news a lot as of late. The U.S. Capitol Police is a federal law enforcement agency that is responsible for protecting the U.S. Congress within Washington, D.C. and throughout the United States when applicable. It is the only full-service federal law enforcement agency appointed by the legislative branch of the U.S. federal government. While Capitol security is their bread and butter, there's more to it than its security element. If you want to know more about what the Capitol Police is, what it does, its training, requirements, its containment and emergency response team, and much more, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comments section below. We check everything. The U.S. Capitol Police all started in 1828. The year police regulations in Washington, D.C. were expanded to include the Capitol and its grounds. This empowered the four Capitol watchmen with full law enforcement authority. Fast forward to now, the Capitol Police employs around 2,300 personnel and has a budget of approximately $460 million. The U.S. Capitol Police's three core values are professionalism, pride, and effectiveness. With these, they execute their primary mission, which is protecting the Congress so it can fulfill its constitutional and legislative responsibilities in a safe, secure, and open environment. This agency has a pretty small jurisdiction. It centers on the U.S. Capitol Building in D.C., the Congressional Offices, and Library of Congress Buildings. To give you this in numerical terms, its primary jurisdiction is about 270 acres, or less than a half square mile. Only 58 of those acres are actually capital grounds. While this is where they mainly operate, they also have extended jurisdiction over other parts of DC and anywhere in the US if they are traveling with members of Congress. Within the Capitol Police, there are five bureaus. There's the Protective Services Bureau, Security Services Bureau, Command and Coordination Bureau, Operational Services Bureau, and the Uniformed Services Bureau. Let's briefly go over what each of these bureaus do. Did you know General Discharge has a YouTube membership? We have three different levels of perks, each with some pretty cool stuff. You can join with the link in the description or by the join button next to the subscribe button and on our homepage. What do you gotta lose? Join today. Now back to the video. The Protective Services Bureau collects and analyzes information to produce intelligence, assess threats, enforce the law, identify risks, and develop and employ risk mitigation, member protection, and enforcement strategies. Specialty units include investigations, intelligence and interagency coordination, and dignitary protection. The Security Services Bureau is responsible for planning, designing, installing, and implementing the Capitol Police's physical and technical security elements to include using innovative systems and technologies to meet mission needs. Its physical security and technical countermeasures divisions ensure the overall safety and security of the Capitol complex. The Command and Coordination Bureau provides an enhanced capability to develop, coordinate, and execute contingency plans, prepare and direct special events, respond to incidents and emergencies, and manage multi-agency responses to evolving situations within the Capitol complex. Specialty units include the Command Center, Communications, Emergency Management, Crisis Negotiation Unit, Reports Processing, Court Liaison, and Special Events. The Operational Services Bureau specializes in emergency response to support the department's operational needs. This is accomplished in the form of specialized training, enforcement, coordination, planning, equipment, and response policy development. Specialty units include the Hazardous Devices Section, Hazardous Material Response Team, Special Operations, K-9, Containment and Emergency Response, and Crime Scene Search. And last but not least, the Uniform Services Bureau is the most visible elements of the department as it provides the security for the U.S. Capitol and Congressional Office buildings. Its primary mission is to screen visitors to the Capitol complex, suppress crime, and enhance relations with the community and its citizens. It is divided into the Capitol Division, House Division, Senate Division, and Library Division. So we mentioned the CERT, which is in the OSB. Let's go over that. 
The CERT is a part-time unit composed of officers drawn from throughout the department. It deals with tactical operations and terrorist activities within the Capitol complex. There are assault teams and counter sniper teams. Fun fact, officers selected as snipers attend a modified version of the Marine Scout Sniper School. In order to get into CERT, you must first pass a week-long selection process that includes various events such as running an obstacle course in full tactical gear, a combat shooting test, an oral examination, and much more. If selected, you will be sent to a week-long advanced firearms course, and if you make it through that, you will advance to the Motor Patrol School, Field Training School, and then an 8-week basic SWAT school. Needless to say, CERT officers are highly trained and professional. Now that you have a general overview of what the U.S. Capitol Police is and does, let's go over the personnel that make up the agency. A bulk of the personnel are what you'd normally think of when you picture this agency, the Capitol Police officers. While we will focus on these the most, there are a variety of career opportunities as a civilian employee in these areas. Pause the screen to take a longer look. Capitol Police officers perform a full range of rewarding police duties and responsibilities that include these. Pause the screen to take a longer look. There's a wide range of opportunities you'll have as a Capitol Police officer as well. Given from what we said in the bureaus, there's a whole slew of positions you can work in. You can find yourself in dignitary protection, intelligence, patrol and mobile response, canine units, cert, and much more. But you first have to become an officer. What does that entail, you ask? Okay, you might not have asked, but we're still going to tell you anyway. Let's get into it. The hiring process can be very long, and can range up to three months to over a year. Keep that in mind if you're interested in this. Here's a picture of the hiring process, for your viewing pleasure. Trainees begin their first week of training at the Capitol Police Training Academy in Cheltenham, Maryland. After that, they typically go through 12 weeks of intensive training at FLETC in Glencoe, Georgia. At FLETC, this is the training they receive. Pause the screen to take a longer look. After FLETC, trainees will return to the United States Capitol Police Training Academy for 13 weeks of specialized training. So, you know what training you'll have to go through to become a U.S. Capitol Police Officer, but what are the requirements? These are the minimum requirements to become a Capitol Police Officer. Pause the screen to take a longer look. You'll also have to take the Physical Abilities Test, which is different from the run-of-the-mill test you're used to seeing. It consists of a sequence of four job-related tasks that simulate situations that may be encountered while performing the duties of a USCP police officer. On screen is a picture of the PAT test and what goes on in it. Pause the screen to take a longer look. You'll need to complete that within 3 minutes and 52 seconds. And there you go. You now know a decent overview of the United States Capitol Police, the training, and how to get into it. If you're into learning more about other civilian and law enforcement entities, we've done plenty of videos on them. On screen are all the videos we've done thus far. There will be a playlist in the description for them. Well, that is the down and dirty of the United States Capitol Police. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our YouTube members and our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, consider joining our membership with the link in the description or the join button to the left of the subscribe button, or go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge and you don't even want to be here.